and trust in the fact that if she's a wifey type, she's gonna shut that shit down from these other dudes. She's gonna shut it down. You don't have to sit up there and worry yourself. Cause what's worst case scenario? She goes ahead and lets them smash. Okay, well then she wasn't the wifey type that you thought she was anyway, so let her go. I've been driving this train years in this lane this Gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to deal with trust issues. Now fellas, first things first, I don't blindly trust anyone. It doesn't matter who it is, whether it's a friend, a colleague, a family member, or a relationship. Trust with me has to be earned. And I've spoke about it many times on this channel, and that real ones are extremely rare. And when you, when you run into one, it kind of almost catches you by surprise. And, and it makes you question yourself like, is this person really one of those ones? Or are they trying to fool you with their charm? And sometimes the only thing you can do is just kind of let things play out and see where things go. Fellas, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. When I was a junior in high school, I dated one of the most beautiful girls at our school. She was incredible. She had this small little waist, big old booty. Yeah, she was bad. And back in those days, at 16, 17 years old, I didn't know who I was. I was completely clueless. I was young and dumb. And so you want to talk about trust issues. Oh yeah, I had them because I was extremely insecure. And this is one of the biggest reasons why young love is so hard to maintain because guys are too in their feelings, they're too insecure. As a man, especially a young man at that age, you realize that inherently you bring little to no value to society, little to none. And that young beautiful woman, oh her value is high. Her value is, is starting to peak. But as we know, as a man, your value has to be created. And in order for you to create that value, that takes time. It takes wisdom. It takes years of work and training and working on yourself and your mentality and your emotions and your finances. It takes a while to get all of these things together for you to be the most attractive version of yourself. So even though back then I thought I had game and I thought I was this hot shot, oh, I was walking around extremely insecure when it came to dealing with my girl, which had us in constant arguments and fights and just really an unhappy relationship on both parties. And she was jealous and insecure too. It wasn't just me, it was both of us. But I wish I would have had the mentality that I have now, back then. But don't we all? But that's part of the learning process that you must go through. So if you're a young guy and you're watching this channel and channels like this, you're in an awfully great position if you take heed to the knowledge that's being given to you and the experience. I was in over my head back in those days. I was jealous. I would let my mind wonder constantly wondering about what she was doing and what she was up to. I had trust issues. I didn't trust her because she was super bad and I knew that every guy was trying to talk to her no matter where she went. I used to page her. Guys, this is back in the day before cell phones. So I used to page her and I used to page her 911 which meant emergency. Call me back right away. And now it wasn't an emergency. It was just that I wanted to talk to her. I wanted to see what she was up to. I wanted to make sure she wasn't doing anything that I didn't approve of. Because again, I had trust issues. I wasn't focused on improving myself back then. I was focused on my girl. And that was the number one mistake that I made in those early relationships in my life. I wasn't driven 
to be a boss. I was driven to try to make someone else happy. I was insecure within myself. I didn't truly believe that I was the prize like I do now. So fellas, I sabotaged a great relationship with a, a wonderful girl because of my insecurities and my trust issues. And I know that's to be expected when you're talking about young love and people who have a lack of life experience. A lot of the times, the only way you can learn is to go through the fire. I can sit up here and tell you to, uh, till I'm blue in the face what to do and what not to do. But you guys are gonna have to make some of these mistakes on your own and you're gonna have to learn from them. You need to be able to identify though when you feel yourself going down the wrong path so that you can self-correct because at this point, you know the way. You know the mistakes that you're making. You know what you're doing wrong. But you gotta be able to be self-disciplined enough to not let all those feelings and emotions control your action, fellas. Now, I remember uh, a super gem that my dad dropped on me when I was a, a junior in high school because I was having all these trust issues with this girl. So I remember asking him like, how do, you, how do you deal with this? How do you handle this? And I just remember him telling me, listen, if you're gonna date beautiful women, you're gonna have to be okay with the fact that they're going to get attention from other men. Period, it's as simple as that. You wanna date a baddie, that's what goes along with it. He told me to take it as a compliment and trust in the fact that if she's a wifey type, she's gonna shut that shit down from these other dudes. She's gonna shut it down. You don't have to sit up there and worry yourself. Cause what's worst case scenario? She goes ahead and lets him smash. Okay, well then she wasn't the wifey type that you thought she was anyway, so let her go. Tell her ass to kick rocks if that's the type of behavior that she's bringing to the table. But you're not gonna sit around here bitching and moaning and complaining and talking about you don't know if you trust your girl. If you don't know if you trust her, why are you with her? Why, fellas? If this is an individual who can't be trusted, if you haven't vetted her enough, then you shouldn't be in no fucking relationship with her. Send her ass back to the streets. If she's taking offers from other dudes, if she's disrespecting you and your name, if she's even making these guys believe that they have a chance, then she ain't the one. And that's up to you to identify. But we're not going to sit around here in a constant state of anxiety and panic. Thinking about what our lady is doing. That's weak. That's some female type behavior. And I know if you're, if you're watching a guy like me, oh no, we're not producing weakness. We're producing mentally strong, tough-minded individuals around here who can withstand anything that happens to them in life and we're still gonna be ten toes down so you need to check all that oh I have trust issues behavior if you're a grown man and you have any type of life experience and you you've been in the dating game before and you've been hurt before then you should already know and understand how the game goes. There should be nothing that can take you off center at this point. Now, if you're, if you're a young guy and you're just now coming into this type of information and this type of talk and you're still learning, okay, well then you can get a pass. You're still learning. But for all the rest of you all, there's no excuse. You got to see these type of things coming and you got to be realistic with your expectations when it comes to dating these chicks. When it comes to dealing with your own trust issues, the first thing you need to do, fellas, is to give her an opportunity to show you who she is. You need to make sure you peep her pattern of behavior over time. It's a process. She's not going to show it to you all up front. It's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows. 
as things go by, but you want to make sure that you are dealing with a mentally stable, emotionally stable, 10 toes down woman. You want to make sure that she does not have the ability to try to ruin your fucking life with her craziness. Does she show you a lot of affection, fellas? Does she like to be outside all the damn time? Or can she sit her ass in the house somewhere? Does she constantly need to be out seeking attention? Those are red flags. If you choose to date and wife and take a woman serious who likes to be outside like that, fellas, that's your own fault. You chose to wife this bitch. You did that. That's not her. She's just being true to herself and to her nature, fellas. You chose her. You guys need to get better with your vetting process and stop blaming women for your foolish decisions. She's just being who she is. The number two thing you need to do when it comes to dealing with your trust issues is to focus on you and get out of your feelings. Fellas, when it comes to your feelings, a lot of you all are way too emotional. You're way too emotional. You get this idea of how you expect things to go in your head. And you wanna be in this rush to get there. You've created this whole scenario in your head and in your mind, and you don't even know where she stands yet. You're so focused on her and you're so far up her backside that you don't even have any goals or any mission in your life. And yet you think this woman is supposed to stay loyal to you. A guy who's just mumbling, fumbling, stumbling around and has no direction and doesn't know what he wants. So of course you're gonna have trust issues. Of course you're gonna be insecure because you don't know who you are. You're in a constant state of panic. You don't like yourself very much. You're broke as a joke. How can you expect that woman to stay around and you don't bring anything to the table? You got 36 bucks to your name. You can't do anything fun. You can't give her no experience. You can't do anything. So the focus needs to be on you. Build your life up. Make your life just such a positive to be a part of that she would be a fucking fool to do something stupid, to leave you, to not want to be with you. But again, the only way she's going to have that mentality is if she sees you on your fucking grind, if she sees that you're a winner, if she knows for certain that you're a dude that's going somewhere, of course she's not gonna leave then. But she's gonna leave if she sees you're, you're super lame and you're stuck in the same place for the last two or three years. You haven't improved in any way. So of course you're gonna have trust issues, fellas, because you see other guys passing you up. You see other guys on their fucking hustle, on their grind, working 16 hours a day to try to build a fucking business while you sit there and sit on the couch and fucking smoke weed and complain and don't do anything. All you wanna do is play your fucking my player and yet you expect a woman to, to stay with you. The number three thing you must do when it comes to dealing with trust issues in your relationships and in your life is to establish your expectations from day one. When this woman comes into your life, she needs to know how you operate. You need to have a program that you're running so it can be a seamless transition. And she's gonna find out sooner or later how you do things and what's okay and what's not okay. And if she loves, admires, and respects you enough, she's going to fall in line to what you have going on. It's as simple as that. And if she doesn't, she's gonna rebel and she's gonna do her own thing. And usually that happens when there's a lack of respect, when she sees you're a fucking loser. 
And fellas, the thing about being a loser is that it's not a state that you have to stay in forever. You don't have to be a loser forever. You can get out of that state by working your ass off and by quitting all the bullshit complaining. Winners win regardless of where they start. They fucking figure it out. That's what a man does. And this isn't an emotional thing. It's not an anger thing. It's not a, a jealous thing. It's about you being honest with her, letting her know what is okay, what is not okay. And if she can't fall in line with that, then you gotta let her walk. You have to be willing to walk away from this woman. You have to. It's your only power as a man. She has to know that if she's not going to fall in line and she's not going to live up to your expectations, then you will replace her. But the thing is, 95, 96% of men are unwilling to do that or they can't do that because they don't have the leverage. They don't believe in themselves. They have no confidence in themselves. So they will stay and they will put up with the bullshit from a woman. And when a woman knows she can get away with the bullshit, oh, she's gonna pull it. She's gonna try it. She's gonna be on her worst behavior. And she's gonna be disrespecting your ass all around town. And then guess what? She's gonna crawl up under the guy who she does love, admire, and respect. And you're gonna be sitting there looking like a fool. So you better establish your, your tone from day one and you better get your respect from day one, fellas. And fellas, number four, the last thing that you need to do when it comes to dealing with your trust issues is to let go of the past. Fellas, this new woman who you're seeing, she has not done anything to hurt you. You need to give her a, a fresh chance, a clean opportunity. Let go of all that past hurt and that pain and if you're not over it, then you shouldn't even be dating a new woman anyway. But you can't sit there and just let all of your past experiences haunt you to the point where you're terrified to get into something new. And I'm not saying don't let those things guide you because they certainly should guide you because they are your experiences and they are valid. And I understand that you don't want to get hurt again. But fellas, if you're a man who's constantly improving himself, if you, if you have a purpose with your health and fitness, if you're eating clean, if you're hitting the gym, if you're working on advancing in your career, if you're building a business, if you're working on your game and your social skills, if you're practicing and studying stoicism, fellas, there's nothing that a woman can do that can hurt you ever again. She can behave however she wants to behave and you will show her the fucking door. You have your red pill glasses on. You understand that the fuckery is coming at some point. So you're not gonna let it bother you. You're not gonna be blinded. You no longer believe in this Disney fairy tale. You know that these fairy tales don't exist. So that allows you to operate from a manner that's conducive to your success, to your mental health, to your freedom. Focus on you, fellas, and just know that you have put the work in, you have sacrificed, you have built yourself into an amazing guy. And this woman should be lucky to have you in her life because of everything you can provide. And so you need to understand that no matter what happens, no matter what decision she makes, it'll never hurt you. And you'll be good no matter what because you've put the work in, you've worked on yourself. So remember fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in, day out. And fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, check out your boy's Patreon. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh.